the relationship between sugar and liver is, is not a new story. If you think about the Egyptian, they were the one who actually started to force feed a goose. Then the Roman, they continued to do that. Now the French take credit for the foie gras, but they were all doing the same thing. They were force feeding sugar or carbohydrate to birds, and that was creating a fatty liver. The credit to the American industry is actually to reinvent that industry. But instead of doing that with bird, they do it with us. And those beverage, those soda, are a pleasant feeding that you don't even notice, but that lead to exactly the same things to get a foie gras. And those beverage are just an amazing tool because uh, you just enjoy it at the same time. You don't have any force feeling. You know, this was me five years ago, and it's still me. But I confess, I'm a waistline watcher from way back. Well, that's enough for today. Now for a lively lift. Ice cold Coca-Cola. There's no waistline worry with Coke, you know. Actually, this individual size bottle has no more calories than half a grapefruit. Mmm, another thing, the cold, crisp taste of Coke is so satisfying, it keeps me from eating something else that might really add those pounds. 